Well, hello, my name is Autumn. And uh, thank you guys, first off, for coming to our focus group. It really means a lot to us that we got so many of you guys to show up. Um, this is our focus group for Health Science 394. We'll be talking to you today about muscular strength within Ball State women. But thank you, males, for coming. Um, we, <laughs> we appreciate the feedback that you give us. So, you know, the more that you talk, the smoother that this will go. Um, Everything that's being said in this focus group will be confidential, so you guys don't have to worry about anything being leaked. Only us and our professors will be able to see it. And so everybody relax, and we'll begin our first activity. So our first activity is you'll see a note card. Like I, I think I put one every three people. So one, we'll have, we can have, OK, well, you two can be a group of two. but. Um, Two groups of two, two groups of three. And I want you guys to get in groups. And I want you guys to discuss what you think about when you hear women and muscular strength. Like what comes to mind? So if you want to make a bullet to list, go ahead and make a bullet to list. So if you want to write a couple sentences, go ahead and do that. And we'll do that for a couple minutes. And then you'll pass your cards into me and we'll talk about what you write. I have a Yeah, go ahead and use that You guys want does anybody need a writing utensil? Oh, you
you gonna make a will <laughs> so Xavier if you were stranded on the island well first off how old are you I'm 20 you're 20 yeah. and if you were stranded on the island what's one thing that you would have Female. <laughs> <laughs> um, you? Uh, my name is Alex. I am 18. What was the next one? If you were stranded on that Oh, island. um, what about a boat? You have a boat. You can have anything you want. I just leave, we just have to leave the island. <laughs> you have to leave. Okay. I wouldn't be stranded, though. I mean. Alright, well, what's the last question? And then, where's one place that you would like to go? I like Cali. Okay. Just being stranded. <coughs> Denise, I'm 19, and if I was stranded on the island, I'd probably bring my phone. Have my dad come and get me. Get my phone um, <coughs> and I'd probably want to go to Spain. Why Spain? I've never been to South America. Okay, thanks. My name's Tim. I'm 21. Um, I like where Xavier was going with the woman. Maybe a woman that doesn't talk. So. <laughs> so you would like a blow up doll? <laughs> no. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. And what's one place where you would like to go? Uh, somewhere in Europe, I guess. Okay. Hi, I'm Jenna. I'm 18. Um, I would like to have like music with me because. I'll get so bored if I didn't have music. And no one there to like yell at me if I'm singing bad, so that's okay. <laughs> and then uh, I want to go to New Zealand. Oh, okay. Um, I'm Emily, I'm 21. And I was going to say range dressing just because it's my favorite. <laughs> from <laughs> where? Amy, Amy Henry. Because my favorite is from Texas Roll House. Really? And that's why it's my favorite restaurant. Mine's out back. And that's <laughs> See, oh my yeah. God, you're just like one of my friends. Okay. Really? Yeah. Uh -huh. um, <laughs> And I, I just really want to travel like all over the world, but I really want to go to Italy and okay. Rome and just anywhere. Okay. Um, I'm Katie, I'm 19, and if I could bring one thing, it'd be my phone probably, and I won't go to Australia. Okay. Uh, I'm Jesse, I'm 19. If I could bring one thing, it'd be my teddy bear, Mr. Shell. And Brittany, I'm 23, and um, if I was stranded on the island, I would want my phone or music because I can't live without my phone. Um, I would love to go to Cabo one day. It's yes. just tropical. I mean, I've never been there, so I don't know much about it, but sounds yeah. nice. Real quick, I said I was 21, I'm actually 22. <laughs> I don't, I don't know why. <laughs> Are you newly 22? In August, yeah. See, I'm, I'm, I'm newly 21, and I'm just getting used to being like, I'm 21, I'm 21, I'm 21. So, so uh, what did you guys have as some? Um... My name's Kendra, oh. and if I was stranded on an island, I would probably bring my best friend so I wouldn't have to suffer alone. And then I definitely want to go to Italy. I'm Victoria, um, I'm 21. I would probably bring my phone, too. And I would like to go to Europe. I'm Quinn, I'm 21, and I would probably bring my phone, how sad as that is, and probably the Caribbean. Okay, okay. So, for the activity that we just did before we introduced ourselves, what are a couple things that you guys had on your note card? <clears throat> we uh, said female athlete. Okay. Um, <laughs> squats, running, and a bodybuilder. Any particular reason why you say bodybuilder, or is that's all me. Any particular reason? I'm strong. You, you, when you say female bodybuilder, like female and muscular weight trainer, you think of the real big female bodybuilders. Yeah. That okay. I mean, not necessarily just. I don't know. I don't know why I said it. I said it because that's what I'm gonna say. <laughs> well, I said it because it does remind me of a ripped girl. Uh, anything else on you guys' list? Oh, Brittany, your list. Oh, um, uh, strong, tough, and broad. Mm -hmm. 
It's a uh, funny thing is my roommate, she used to play basketball, and a lot of people make jokes about, like, when she was in middle school or high school, that she had the broadest shoulders, and then when she got to college, her shoulders fell because yeah. she quit playing sports so yeah, much. Yeah, broad shoulders when I play sports, so it work out. What are some things that you guys had on your list? Uh, we said smaller, weak, and calcium. You, I'm sorry, you said what? <laughs> smaller, weak, and calcium. When you it doesn't make any sense. Just, it's okay. You move on. <laughs> Um, okay. <laughs> uh, what are some things that you guys put? Um, we just put that strength for women is not as important as to, it is to men, and then it's not as common for women to have as much as muscular strength as men do. Ooh, you just brought me to an important question, ladies and gentlemen. So, why do you think, um, per se, that muscular strength and muscular increasing activities isn't as important for women as it is for men. Because men are seen as strong in the winter and too much to their body. <laughs> okay. Anybody else want to add on? You guys, the, the because, is it because when you think of women and muscle, you know, training activities that it goes with be, being a big bodybuilder or something like that, do you guys just take it to the extreme? I just don't think it's like feminine for a woman to be like all ripped. Like, I don't think it's like sexy. You know okay. what I'm saying? That's just me. I don't want to be super ripped. I don't think that's No, I understand <laughs> completely. Um, 